Rights of Spouses Act, Division of Property. Section 13, time when application may be made to court for a division of property. Subsection 1, a spouse shall be entitled to apply to the court for a division of the property, a, on the grant of a decree of dissolution of a marriage or the termination of cohabitation or b on the grant of a decree of nullity of a marriage or c where a husband and wife have separated and there is no reasonable likelihood of reconciliation or d where one spouse is endangering the property or seriously diminishing its value by gross mismanagement or by willful or reckless dissipation of property or earnings. Subsection 2 An application under subsection 1a, b or c that is where the marriage breaks down or the union breaks down. The application under those subsections shall be made within 12 months of the dissolution of a marriage, termination of cohabitation, annulment of marriage, or separation, or such longer period as the court may allow for hearing the applicant okay so if your marriage is dissolved and you're going to apply to the court in that case you're applying for division of the property you must do so within 12 months within one year but even if you don't do that, the court may still decide to go ahead and divide the property. As it says, or such longer period as the court may allow for hearing the applicant. Subsection 3. For the purposes of subsection 1, A and B, and Section 14, the definition of spouse shall include a former spouse. Section 14, division of property. Subsection 1, where under section 13, a spouse applies to the court for a division of property, the court may a, make an order for the division of the family home in accordance with section 6 or 7 as the case may require or b subject to section 17 subsection 2 divide such property other than the family home as it thinks fit taking into account the factors specified in subsection 2 or where the circumstances so warrant take action on the both paragraphs a and b subsection 2 the factors referred to in subsection 1 are so the factors it says here which factors again make an order for the division of a family home in accordance okay are subject to sub section 17 subsection 2 divide such property other than the family home as it thinks fit or where the circumstances so warrant okay 
So here, the factors referred to in subsection 1 are A. So these are what the judge will consider. The contribution, financial or otherwise, directly or indirectly made by or on behalf of a spouse to the acquisition, conservation or improvement of any property whether or not such property has since the making of the financial contribution ceased to be the property of the spouses or either of them so the if the other spouse contributed money in maintaining the house or other property or building it then the court will consider that or it may be other contribution, it says, financial or otherwise. B. That there is no family home. So the factors referred to. That there is no family home. Okay, maybe they are renting somewhere. Or living in somebody else's house, a family member's house. C. The duration of the marriage or the period of cohabitation. D. That there is an agreement with respect to the ownership and division of property. So the spouses had already made an agreement. E. Such other fact or circumstance which, in the opinion of the court, the justice of the case requires to be taken into account. Subsection 3. In subsection 2, A, contribution means A, the acquisition or creation of property, including the payment of money for that purpose. So, contributing money. B, the care of any relevant child or any aged or informed or infirm relative or dependent of a spouse. So that is considered a contribution that your spouse had taken care of your child. Maybe it's not the child of the spouse, but the, not the biological child of your spouse, but they took care of that child. Or they took care of your mother or father or grandmother or grandfather who couldn't take care of themselves. So that is considered a contribution to the property. C. The giving up of a higher standard of living that would otherwise have been made available. Would have been available. So they could have been making more money. But they choose not to do so and to use your time and effort to take care of your property d the giving of assistance or support by one spouse to the other whether or not of a material kind including the giving of assistance or support which one enables the other spouse to acquire qualifications or who aids the other spouse in the carrying on of this spouse's occupation or business. So your wife or your husband helped you in acquiring a, seems an academic qualification or helped you in carrying out your business or your occupation. So that is considered a contribution which may which the court may consider. E the management of the household and the performance of household duties. F the payment of money to maintain or increase the value of the property or any part thereof. G the performance of work or services in respect of the property or part thereof. H. The provision of money, including the earning of an income 
for the purpose of the marriage or cohabitation i the effect of any proposed order upon the earning capacity of either spouse subsection 4 for the avoidance of doubt there shall be no presumption that a monetary contribution is of greater value than a non-monetary contribution right 